if you guys would please take out a piece of paper. All you need is a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. All right, as you know, we just finished up a whole unit on the age of absolutism, absolute government. You wrote a short story, what it would be like if you had absolute power. You did projects with propaganda on absolute rulers during the time period. The next big unit that we're going to be covering is the age of revolution the revolution, most specifically the French Revolution. So there's this time in between here with the question mark that how did we get from age of absolutism, absolute power, monarchs being in total and complete control to where the citizens revolt? So how did that logically connect? So I want to ask you this, and I want you to write this down very quickly. Why do you think that revolution is the next big unit of study? What do you think, what do you know about, from what you have read and what you've studied and what you know about people, that if you have an absolute power, a dictator, an absolute monarch, why would revolution be a next unit of study? So just take a minute and think about that and jot that down on your paper. Okay, some of you might be completely finished writing it down. Some of you might still be finishing down, but you pretty much know what you think. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to share it with the person sitting next to you why you think we're going from absolute power to revolution. What do you think about humans? So go ahead and talk, whether you're done writing or not. Go ahead and talk with your person. Whether you're done writing or not, go ahead and talk. It's just to get your things. Hey, guys, I want you guys to turn around and share it with the people behind you. Okay. Okay, you two do.